Howdy everyone, Pete Daddy here. Today I wanted to talk about this new Summer Heat fan favorite Bruno Fernandez objective card. This one looks like absolute fire. He's been upgraded to a five star weak foot. However, he is going to take quite a bit of grinding to obtain, so I wanted to share with you some tips and tricks, some of the best players to look out for so we can knock this out the fastest way possible. He does have nine separate parts, and we'll take a look at his stats and where I think he could play in a few minutes, but first, let's take a look at all of these different objectives, and I'll give EA a lot of credit on this. Very similar to the Furlan Mendy, if you are just a very casual player, you can easily obtain this 90-rated Bruno Fernandez. All you have to do is win five Rivals matches, and it should update in the top right up there where it says Season 7. So we have 22 days, 21 hours, so basically 23 days left to complete this. A little over three weeks to get all of this done. So if you're just a casual player, play a couple games a week, you should be able to get this 90-rated Bruno. It's also nice that if you do go through all of these, you're going to have a 90-rated Bruno Fernandez you can submit, a 91-rated Bruno Fernandez you can submit, and a 92-rated that you could put into an SBC while also keeping the 94 rated for your club so I do like this aspect of it all so the first one's very easy just play however you play in rivals win five matches and you'll get that 90 rated Bruno Fernandez then what you'll have to do is take that 90 rated Bruno Fernandez and put them into your team and I'll go over in a bit how what players I think you maybe could use some of the better and cheaper options that you can use but all you have to do on this one is score in three separate rivals matches with players that are four star weak foot, four star skill moves, and there's just so many of those out there. You know, there that's basically the standard now. You want people that are at least that for your attackers. So a lot of us now even have five star, five star, or five star, four stars. So you're gonna have tons of players out there that are gonna hit that objective. And, you know, it's just scoring. You don't have to win. That one should be knocked out pretty simply. No problem. Easy peasy. The next one is you do have to play eight matches with six Premier League players in your starting squad. And I'll also talk about that in a little bit. Depending on where you are in the Furlan Mindy, you may be able to knock out a couple of those objectives at the same time, which is actually be pretty cool. But it, it kind of depends on where you are. But this one, you need six Premier League players. And you don't have to win. It's just playing the game. You know, so to get to this 91 rated Bruno Fernandez, very simple. And, you know, there's tons of great Premier League options. And, you know, I'll just kind of say, you know, I still, I've talked about this. I wish the objectives were just like win, you know, just kind of get you to play. But I understand from EA's perspective, you know, they're putting this out there. But what they're hoping is we will go out and buy packs or we'll churn our club a little bit. We'll sell this player to buy this player to reduce coins on the market, you know, reduce your coins from the EA tax and then you know okay well then I need to make my weekend league team and so you'll buy some packs so that's from their perspective and I understand that but I feel like they could do this like this is fine to me in a way because in some ways it forces you to play with different players where you run into problems is if you're in like the upper echelons of division rivals play like I know I've dropped probably 150 rivals points trying to do that Furlan Mendy cross. I went from about 2,000 2, skill rating to about 1850, something like that. And that's just because I've got matches where I'm trying to force that Furlan Mendy cross. And my opponent knows, okay, all he's going to do is try to run down the wing with Furlan Mendy and make a cross in there. And it's not an easy thing to do. So it makes it hard to compete, makes it hard to win. And so I think that goes against division rivals a little bit. So I feel like it should just be playing, you know, and either playing and winning or just scoring, you know, something like that. Something like score four goals in a match five times, you know, something that's like rewarding playing. But I understand, you know, have something like that, not necessarily crosses or outside the box goals or, you know, lofted through balls, crosses, you know, I wish they would just kind of scratch those from it, just make it more about playing. And then I wouldn't have as big of a problem with some of the requirements. But I'll say overall, I don't think the Bruno one is that restrictive, but, you know, we'll just keep going through it. I just wanted to put that out there while we we'll, while we are talking about it. But six Premier League players, and I've got a couple Premier League players, some little bit cheaper options that will also help you compete. 
Then the next one is you will get upgraded by completing this one. You'll get the 91 Bruno Fernandez. Then you'll have to start playing with the 91 Bruno. And you have to assist with a through ball. And just a little tip where I've had the best luck with getting the through ball passes to work is playing. I would play Bruno as like a central cam or somewhere where he's going to be just a little bit outside of the box with a striker in front of him. So if you get Bruno the ball kind of just on the outside of the box passing around, if you pass around enough, you'll get that angle then where you can kind of just do like a weaker through ball you know you don't want to max power it or anything just maybe like one bar to two bars and just try to get it ahead to your striker and let him bury it into the into the back of the net with that through ball there i found I've, I've not had a lot of luck just with those normal through balls like bruno has the ball at midfield sees a striker or a winger making a run and then he, he you know he does that through ball to someone ahead what happens for me usually you know even if my striker has a couple steps or he's in full stride usually a center back is going to catch him before he's completely in on net or the keeper will come out so it may lead to a goal but it may be i make a through ball to my striker who then passes to the wide cam who has a good shot or sometimes you get a through ball up the wing you know they're not going to be in a great scoring position and then they have to pa pass back inside so for me that's the best way to get the through ball not just kind of camping out at midfield and trying to thread through balls through as far as leading to a direct goal so that's what I would recommend. Camp out on kind of the edge of the box and make just a little dink through ball. And anybody who doesn't know, through ball is the top button, so Y or triangle. Then the next one is just score and assist with Bruno in two separate rivals matches with four Portuguese players in your starting squad. We have two different objectives where you have to have four Portuguese players in your starting squad. That was probably the most restrictive because there aren't that many just pure meta Portuguese players in the game right now. So I've got a couple picked out, so I'll, I'll share those with you. But one thing you have to remember, you know, you only have to have four. You can make three subs at the start of the match. So you could have one good Portuguese player and three 80-rated Portuguese players and then just sub them off and bring on the players you want to play with. So that's certainly something you can do. So it, keep that in mind. It's not like the six, like... Ferland Mendy, you need six La Liga and six French players. And on this one, you need six Premier League in, in the first challenge. So this one's only four Portuguese players. So we'll go over that in a minute as well. So that one shouldn't be too bad, but that's one where you're going to have maybe slightly weaker players with your Portuguese players. But there's a couple really strong Portuguese options out there too. But So this one's just playing 10 rivals matches with the four Portuguese players. Then you'll get to the 92 Bruno Fernandes. And I'll say to get to the 92 Bruno Fernandes does not take a ton of grind. The 92 one does have the five-star weak foot. So if you just wanted to go to the 92 and stop, that would be completely fine. Then you don't you don't have to play any matches with win conditions because after this, to get to the 94, we do have some win conditions. And this one doesn't have a win condition, but what, you have to score an outside-of-the-box goal with 92 Bruno Fernandes. And these aren't that bad. It just kind of depends. I've had games where... I feel like I've had six or seven amazing outside of the box chances and they will all either sell wide, you know, sometimes I try to either do it with, if you can do an outside the foot shot from outside the box, or if you can kind of do like one of those near post outside the box shots, those work well. Finesse shots can work as well, but then it seems like some games you're kind of like not in a great position and you just shoot from outside the box and it flies in. So I haven't found any like great way to score outside the box. This could easily be one, though, hey, um, you message your opponent before the match, hey, can I get an outside-of-the-box goal? We'll trade goals. You know, some people will allow you to do it. You only have to do it two times, and it doesn't have a win condition. So it shouldn't be that bad. Just kind of keep that in mind. And then now we get into the last two do have win conditions, but it's not that bad because – on the Furlan Mindy one, you're asking a left back to come forward to score and assist. Bruno's already going to be in that attacking position. He has the stats to be an attacker, so it's not as hard for these types of objectives. So you just have to assist with Bruno in three separate rivals wins and score with 92 Bruno in eight separate rivals wins. So you should be able to knock those out. And obviously, you know, generally in rivals, you're not going to win eight games in a row. This could take you, if you win half of your games in rivals, it could take you 16 matches. But if you can put Bruno either as your central camp or your striker, and he would have no trouble burying goals for you left and right. So don't think those two will be a problem. It's just more grinding those out. But And then the other good thing on this one is you don't, for the 92 Bruno, 
to get to the 94. You don't have to have anyone else in your squad that you don't want to. So you don't have that Portuguese restriction. You don't have that Premier League restriction. So you can have Bruno linked to, say, someone like Aaron Juan Basaka at right back. And then, you know, maybe one more Premier League player or something like that, like a Lucas Mora, Richarlison. Uh, you know, there's that new Rashford um, SBC that's out right now that has a four-star weak foot. It's not a great value necessarily, but, you know, that's another option. Uh, Martial just had a hat trick. He's probably going to get a team of the week option. So, I mean, you're going to have players you can link them with for sure. Pogba has a really nice foot birthday card. You don't see that one a lot. It's very expensive, but i played with him a couple times. He's really nice. So you've got plenty of options to just link Bruno with like one or two people, and he's going to be a great addition to your team. But let me show you some of the things, some of the players that I think would work out really well for you. First and foremost, though, you know, you've got to re realize we've got a Premier League seg segment and then a Portuguese segment. So I wanted to highlight some of the Premier League Portuguese players that are really strong. And it's both this Ricardo Pereira and Jao Cancelo. Both of these are really strong fullback cards. So you can certainly buy those once and then they would hit that Premier League objective. And then you could use them again for the Portuguese objective. So Ricardo Pereira and Jao Cancelo are both really strong options. Let me just see what they're going for right now. I don't think they're that crazy expensive, but let me just see. Like this one, 88,000, 95,000. Uh, you know, some of you may have packed them 70,000. So, you know, we're not talking like it's this state. I mean, that's still a lot of coins, but at this stage of the game, that's really not a lot in the scheme of things, you know, especially for people who've been playing all year. So right around 70,000 and this Jao Cancelo card is another one that's really strong. And let me see what he's going for on the market. He, he's actually a pretty good card. I think he's been upgraded to five star skill moves on that one so he may be a little pricier actually i saw one there so this one's going for 110,000 but this one is five yeah you know, what is it five star skill moves four star weak foot he has a lot of stamina you know good you know pretty good agility for a fullback so this is a nice card you could use as well if you need any other links you know manchester city links this one's got leicester links so if you need if you have that so Yunchu, team of the season you could link him with that ricardo Pereira as well so you've got some some nice portuguese fullback options the other one i know a lot of people completed i didn't complete but it's that bernardo silva was he what was he a flashback player moments so bernardo silva player moments and it's possible you even got him in your player moments guarantee pack a few days ago this is another nice portuguese and premier league option that you could use if you were able to do that SBC or if you packed them in the player moment. So just keep those in mind. And then I also wanted to talk to you about some good values in the Premier Leagues. These are all players that are under 100,000 coins. And what we're talking about here, this Roberto Firmino Scream card is a top, top card. I think he's going for less than 100,000 now. Let me just see if I can find one of those. Just to show you, like, here's one for 93000 that hasn't sold in 45 minutes. So, you know, you're going to be able to get them a little bit cheaper than that. So, you know, just that's a really strong card. You can play in a lot of different positions. You can play him as a box-to-box -box midfielder. You can play him as, like, a cam. You know, so the very versatile card. There's one for 89000 one for 90000 So that's a really nice card. This Team of the Season Kovacic card is another really strong card. Underrated card. I kind of... Well, I, I think I got him in my red picks, and I was just like, I don't ever want to play with him. I played with him in a draft a time or two, and I've actually seen some other people talk about him as well. This is a strong card, you know, going for probably 80,000, 79,000. I see one there, but the, you know, a very nice card you can use. This one had a boost on it, so we just look at his stats right here, real quick. But you can see there 91 agility, 92 balance, does a little bit of everything, has nice defending stats. Just a very solid card you can do a lot of things with. So Kovacic is another one that you Premier League option for a good price. This Telemans card is another nice one that's under 100000 And this one has five-star weak foot. Very solid card. It's a Future Stars card. Uh, you know, very solid. Can do a lot of things with. So Telemans is another option. And then the other thing, before I talk about this one, let me just go back over here. Let's look, depending on where you are. Now, I know I'm on this objective right now for Furlan Mindy, and so it's not going to quite coincide for me. 
But if you are on this one right here, right now, and this one is play 12 rivals matches with 87 overall summer heat Ferlin Mendy and six French players in your starting squad to earn 89 overall summer heat Mendy. If you are on this objective where you need to get Ferlin Mendy with six French players in your starting squad and at the same time, you were on this one where you need to do six Premier League players. And, you know, those could very easily coincide for you. So if so, you would have to have six Premier League players and six French players. And there's some really nice Premier League French players. So let me just show you these. And that would make it really easy. You could do two objectives at the same time, which would be absolutely amazing. First off, this St. Maximin I'm putting out here, both as a value Premier League player and as a French player. So this Furlan, I mean, this St. Maximin right here, just for whatever reason, I mean, you can see his stats, but just a wizard on the ball. I've played with his foot birthday version a few times. I played with him on my main account. I was testing him out, you know, five or six different times. You know, very, very nice. I think I've even had him in draft a couple times, but, you know, this one, he's five-star skill moves, four-star weak foot, just a wizard on the ball, just Whatever it is with his body type in game, just dribbles the ball really, really well and takes care of his business. So St. Maximin is both a French player and a strong value for the Premier League. And then some other French players, you know, you've got Conte in the Premier League, Lloris in the Premier League. Even this 81 Musa Sissoko is still going to do work for you. So right here would be four French Premier League players that you could have to both hit that Premier League objective and that six French players for Ferlin Mendy at the same time, which would make it really, really nice. So that's something to keep in mind if that happens to coincide for you to be able, whenever you can knock out two objectives at once, that makes things super, super nice. And then right here, I've got some Portuguese players for you. And some of the best ones, you know, Cristiano is a nice option. This is just his regular gold. I believe he's going for right around 200,000 coins. Let me just see. So yeah, 199, 198. So, you know, he's a little pricier, obviously, but, you know, that's one of the best Portuguese options. If you don't want to put that kind of coins into one player that you're just going to have to turn around and sell in a few days, then this Rafa card, this is the team of the season, Rafa. Very, very strong card. I've played with him a bunch. He goes for right around 100,000. Let me just put a min. So you see there are 100,000, tons of them out there near that range. 100,000. So that Rafa, if you've got him, a very, very strong card. 99 agility, 99 balance, near perfect pace, great shooting, and he's four star, four star. So a really, really nice option for that Rafa there. So that would be one of the ones I would recommend the most. He's right in that 100,000 coin range. Plus he's Portuguese. So if you just if you wanted to just buy one strong Portuguese player, you could get Rafa. And then the other three, you could just have 80 rated Portuguese players and sub them all off for your main players. So that's something to keep in mind there. This Rafa will compete with anybody down the wing, playing wide cam, doing all that type of stuff. This Renato Sanchez is another one of the best two-way midfielders in the game, but he's very expensive. So, you know, just take a look at this one right here. This one, I probably, unless you've just got like infinite coins, I wouldn't necessarily recommend having to buy him. He's actually come down some, so that's not as bad as I was thinking he was. You know, this 360 range really is not a bad price for him. And this one hasn't even sold, so you maybe could be able to get him even cheaper. But this Renato Sanchez is a super, super strong card. He does everything well. You could play him as an attacker. You could play him as a CDM. You could play him as a two-way midfielder, which is probably his best position as like a two-way midfielder. But really, really strong card, but expensive. So I just wanted to point that one out. Then a couple SBC cards that I know a lot of you completed. Don't forget about this Nanny in your club. Five star, five star. I wish I would have completed them. I just didn't have a lot of SBC fodder at the time. And I thought I probably wouldn't use them. But I know now he would come in really, really handy. But that Nanny is a really strong card. This Charisma was another SBC out there. And look at that. EA, come on. Tell him I'm glad I wasn't in the middle of a game. So we lose our connection to the ultimate team right in the middle of everything. How crazy. So what's going on? What's going on, EA? Now there we go. We just had a momentary spike on the servers. You know, just normal stuff. 
we get used to it. I, I had two weekend league matches where it just that happened to me this weekend. It's just when you lose a game like that, that just it crushes your soul a little bit. But that's just part of it. But you know, you can see up there themed objectives. There's the Furlan Mendy. There's the Bruno Fernandez. I mean, this I would I would give EA a lot of credit. This summer heat promotion's been a lot of fun. The summer showdown objective is pretty cool. I completed the uh, uh, which one was it? The Diaby. And, you know, that, that's a, just a card, and you could get a nice boost. But, you know, just kind of going back to this, some of the Portuguese players, uh, you know, Charisma was another SPC. And then another one that some of you may have, if you haven't turned them in already, that, that would be the problem, is this Gelson Martins was a storyline card from, I think, Season 2. So if you've kept him in your club, that's another really strong option you can use as a Portuguese player. And then here, these ones right here are if you happen to need... Portuguese players and also La Liga players. So Nelson Semedo is an absolute monster. This is his headliners card, which is a super, super strong card. I really like that one a lot. You can honestly still play with just that gold 82 rated Semedo, still a really strong fullback. This one is a current storyline card, so I'll just show you guys that real quick. I actually, I picked him yesterday because I honestly, I didn't even really care, but I'm glad I did. He was just the first one there, so I just grabbed uh, this one right here, Gil Diaz. He's Portuguese. The other options were this American and this Spanish player, but I just took the first one because it was just going to be SBC fodder. Luckily, I haven't turned him in already, so I'm going to use him for part of my Bruno Fernandez objective. And, you know, it'll just be someone I can throw out there that's got decent pace, some decent stats. Maybe I can play with them for 60 minutes and then bring on a sub. Maybe I can, you know, I might need to sub them off immediately. But I'm just saying I haven't played with them at all. But, you know, he's four-star, four-star. has some decent stats. So I'll throw him out there, see what he can do. Can do but that's another option. Also, this William Carvalho scream card is a solid option for just a pure defensive midfielder you know he doesn't have great agility great balance but you know i've played with him some in drafts he's not terrible if you just need a pure ball winning cdm he will work for you and then a couple gold options if you need cheaper La Liga Portuguese options. And the reason I'm showing La Liga is if you're trying to do something like a Furlan Mendy where you need to do the La Liga players and you also need to do the Portuguese part for um, Bruno Fernandes at the same time. That's why I'm highlighting some of these Portuguese La Liga players. Part of the ones that you can maybe do at the same time. And then also this Jao Felix is another one that's at least competitive. He was one of the most popular cards at the very beginning of the game. But those are ones to keep in mind. And then, of course, we've got Bruno Fernandes right here. The man, the legend. I mean, you just look at those stats. Probably what I would recommend on him would be a sniper Kim style. His pace would be slightly off, but it's certainly fine but putting the sniper on him makes his shooting almost perfect and it makes his dribbling almost perfect and his passing is already through the roof so i think sniper kim style is the way to go on bruno fernandez but anyways guys i just wanted to go over that bruno fernandez try to share with you some tips and tricks on how to complete him the fastest i don't think you need to drop down a lot of divisions to be able to get them i think you can be able to knock them out just it's just part of the grind of the game you're just gonna have to actually grind and play the games and that's just part of it i will say you know to anyone out there if you see someone trying to get an objective you know just trade a couple goals off i mean it's no big deal you know start the game two two instead of zero 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 help everyone out let's just try to get help everyone out and get these objectives knocked out but anyways boys this is going to wrap up the video i hope you enjoyed it if you did give me a big thumbs up please make sure to subscribe and i'll see you guys soon bye